actually, I've got one thing to end. This is one thing to end. Let's do it one last thing. I thought this was very interesting. I think this definitely um, is something that I'm not surprised about. Let me just quickly pull this up. I've got one last thing to end. Let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, there we go. Got it straight away. So this clip is fucking sick. Somebody pulled this from the from the from somebody pulled this and posted it on the Friday the Kids subreddit, and it's regarding Adam Devine, one of the guys who is an actor. I think he I did he I think he did work holics with um Eric Eric what's your Eric Griffin, right? If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, let me just quickly type in because I don't want to be an idiot about this stuff and say it wrong. Adam Levine, yeah, what, 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 what do you do? Is it Adam Levine? Oh no, sorry, Adam Devine, not Adam Devine. Adam Devine, sorry, my bad. D- Devine or Devine doesn't matter. Um, Adam Devine is an American actor, comedian, screenwriter, and producer. He's one of the stars of co-creators of Comedy Central, comedy television series, Workaholics, and Adam Devine's House Party. So he obviously, of course, so he's a co-creator of the show. So he's a big deal, I'd imagine, right, in terms of Hollywood and what he's done, blah blah blah. And obviously, you know, the show, what it did, what not. So on this podcast, he doesn't have some good things to say about Eric Griffin. And I'm, for one, I'm not surprised, to be honest. I'm not surprised. So this is Adam Devine talking about Eric Griffin or Eric as fucking BG, uh, fucking, uh, what you call it? I'm uh, nice to call him. I remember you came in, you're like, I just, I just <laughs> met Montez. And I'm like, oh shit. And is it me? Or does, again, just to pause it because I always do this. Doesn't this Adam Devine guy look a little bit like um, Yanis? Papa Lapa, whatever his name is, the comedian. Or am I mistaken? Doesn't he look a little bit like Yanis from his angle? His mouth and his face shape and shit, no? Or am I, or am I bugging out? And who? And you were like, Eric Griffin. And I know Eric from doing stand-up. And mm-hmm. I'm like, hard pass, absolutely not. <laughs> mm-hmm. No! no! I'm going to say the name, no. Because Eric is, uh, I, I, I've become really good friends with Go Eric. Go off. <laughs> uh, but Eric uh, is a, a, a total asshole, you know? What? Did he say I become really good friends with him, but he was a total asshole? <laughs> I love the honesty. That's really good. <laughs> he's my friend now, but he was a fucking dickhead before. Uh, mm-hmm. He's super nice. What? He's, mm-hmm. super, he's super nice. He's super nice. Right. Uh, but when you're coming up in stand-up... He's a bitch. He uh, was just like... Uh, like really mean? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. He was yeah. mean. Was that is not what I. Are expected. you saying? Like, was he like checking <laughs> you kind of thing? Like that kind of comedy guy? Very nice. Like, like, uh, just trying to like push you, just to test you. Yeah, uh, uh, like, uh, yeah. No, he was like, he's like the sage old vet, right? And he would really? always treat me like the rookie. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Eric is always giving off. This is the thing. I think. I think if you're gonna be um a hater. If you're going to be bitter and jealous and stuff, you should just be it like up front. I think he tries too hard to be like the nice guy and kind of perpetuate the image that he's like cool with everything and he's supporting everybody. But I think deep down, the guy is like incredibly bitter and jealous. And maybe he has reason to because he thinks he's better than some people or whatever it may be. And he hasn't necessarily maybe has become as successful as maybe he hopes he would be. Because I still think Eric is probably a better comedic, right? Sorry, a comedic actor than he is a stand up. He's still not shit, but I'd, I'd say his comedic acting chops are probably better than his stand-up personally. And maybe he hasn't got the success that he thinks he should be getting. But the the thing that alarm bursts are ringing to me about, again, about um Eric is more so his friendship with Brendan. It's why I'd say, this guy's a bit of a weirdo, isn't it? Because he was very anti-Brendan in the beginning. When he didn't know Brendan, and he just saw him. Again, he didn't hear him. This is the thing you have to imagine. It's not that he didn't think Brendan was not funny. He just didn't like how he looked. He saw Brendan and thought, oh, he's a jock. And he's like this guy coming from the UFC doing comedy. And he just didn't like the image of him. Not the, not the joke. He thought the image of Brendan was horrible. Doing stand-up comedy, him getting so far and performing all these places. He hated him. Then as soon as Brendan started to... And you even said it on podcasts. There's clips of Eric Griffin talking bad about Brendan on podcasts. Like basically, uh, you know, in a roundabout way. Talking about athletes that do... Other people that come in and do stand-up and stuff and other things. I can't remember exactly word for word. But he said things that you would imagine are directed to Brendan. Then as soon as Brendan starts paying him money and starts, uh, you know, basically hires him to work on the King and the Sting or to kind of fill in certain times and puts money in his pocket. As soon as Brendan puts money in his pocket, he changes tune about him instantly. Then he starts defending him. He starts going super aggro defending him. Like, oh, you guys don't get it. He's actually this. Everyone, I hate. Like, he went the complete opposite. So it goes to show that he has no morals, no principles, because at one point he hates you just for not even knowing you. He didn't even talk to you. He hates you already, which is obviously bad because, you know, yeah, you just hate somebody just on the basis of what they look like, right? <laughs> it's fucking awful. Then, as soon as you start paying him money, he's suddenly your best friend. Suddenly, you're successful and you can give him an opportunity to fucking, you know, to, 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 to you know, to put money in his pocket, to pay petrol. I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter how much it is. It could be 
peanuts. But the fact that he changed his tune on Brennan so quickly was bizarre to me. Bizarre. And then, of course, the other thing, when the whole Chris Lear thing happened, his defense of Chris Lear was strange. It was like he was dancing around it. He didn't want to say if it was bad or if it was good. And then, obviously, it comes out, if you believe what that lady, Alice Hamilton, said, that allegedly, you know, Eric Griffin's a little bit of a sex pest himself in real life. You know what I mean? A lot of female comedians have been, you know, complaining about him and all that malarkey. Um, so that's obviously <laughs> why he was being um, as Switzerland or and as flipping, you know, uh, as impartial as possible as he could be about the Chris Alia stuff and basically saying, you know, the, the life of a comedian is hard and the tempted. I don't know, he was dancing around it too much. It kind of raised my alarm, but was like, why are you just, you know, either just not talking about it because he's a friend, which is understandable, still weird, but I get it. Just, just be mute on it or just saying it's abhorrent. Why are you doing this dance thing and trying to understand p someone being accused of diddling? And then obviously the stories come out that he also may have allegedly, you know, dabbled in the sex pestery. That makes a lot of sense, but I'm not surprised Eric's a piece of shit. And obviously, you know, these guys are Hollywood and as LA as they get. They don't really go out of their way about talking bad about anybody unless you're actually a piece of shit. So the fact that these guys who are actually in Hollywood and actually have legit careers are saying this about you, that goes to show that you're probably a piece of shit. You know what I mean? I'm not surprised. So I definitely believe that Eric is a supreme hater. He's a guy that would legitimately be hating on you if you pulled up in a comedy store in a purple Porsche. Do you know what I mean? And he doesn't rate you. He doesn't think you're funny. And that's a worst type of person who thinks, oh, that should be me. That I should have that. I deserve this. It's like, mm, that's bad energy, brother. That's bad, bad, bad energy to put out there. But hey, what do I know? What do I fucking know?